and then the next coat would, for instance, there would be red, then the next one is white, and then it's six more coats of clear coat. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a pretty one when it's finished. Now what is that going to be? That's going to be a bomber. That's a bomber. They'll never use this one. It's too pretty. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to think. This is sugar maple. Uh, but it's the heartwood. I just ran across it and said this one has to be natural. And here's another eastern red cedar. I just liked the, a little bit of contrasting color in the grain. And I think somebody will put this up. And yeah. That'll, that will end up being on somebody's mantle. You'll never see the water, I don't think. I think they ought to earn the right to get on the mantle. They ought to um, get some teeth marks in the post. <laughs> it's beautiful craftsmanship, though. Your and detail then, is amazing. Here's the one. This was the injured minnow. It was made in 1924. I caught my first pass on one. There's a big one and a little one. I make this one for kids. The injured minnow lays on his side because he's injured. And he's a topwater lure, so if you'll just twitch the line a little bit, that'll churn the water up and it looks like a, a minnow fluttering around on top. And kids kids uh, get that one, mostly? For the most part. Yeah. Um, little Luke was in, the, in your newspaper here last year for catching a four pound, nine ounce bass on one of those.